Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to another riveting episode of Let's Play Descent as we head into what I assume to be a boss room since they gave us virtually no information about it. Whenever they do that, that usually means that we're going into the bossiest of boss rooms. Uh, so here we go. No! God, I don't understand why it does that. It's so annoying. I'm not giving it a command to send out missiles and all of a sudden it's just like... Wah! Wah! BAM! Missiles! God, I hate it. And we're gonna need those, too. Oh, no! Okay, okay, this is definitely not a, uh, it's not a boss fight, but dude, this level's so hard! Oh, no! This is not what I needed tonight in any capacity whatsoever. We got, like, three hulks over there. This entire, like, little inlet area is just loaded to the teeth with those Vulcan cannon carrying bastards, so we need to just dispatch these dudes now. Like, our, our level of dispatchery must be so wildly high that they'd like they'll write a novel about it and have like a Netflix original series. That's that's how this needs to go. Kill him! Kill him already! Gosh. Oh, this level's so awful. It's it's great. Like it's it's this level is so full of action and just craziness, but I hate it. I just, oh, this is it. especially on a day like this, like, I've had not exactly a great weekend, and so this is not what I needed to try to, you know, counteract such a thing. And, oh, oh look how many of them there are over here! There's so many of them! Oh, God. And there's a virus wall over there, too, which makes it even worse. We just can't escape them no matter what we do. <laughs> Oh, there's so much crap going on! Oh, there's a possibility we may die, like, six times in this. I'm not even kidding. We may die six times in this level. And if, if it happens less than that, in any in any amount less than that, it could actually even happen more times than that. I, I'm being 100% honest with you. If it does, don't be surprised. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you the truth here. Okay. We need to be... There's, there has to be so much caution exercised in this from this point forward. Um, oh, there's our yellow key. There's just there's so many little snaky things that if you if you try to just kind of blast through it, you're gonna regret it so hard. So I mean, I have to be you have to be fast, but you can't you can't be that fast if if that makes any sense. Oh no, you don't. Not letting it happen. Not letting it happen. Okay, so let's let's go through here. So yeah, dude, it's it's not been uh, it's not been good. I, I got to start off my Saturday with a literal bang of the stupidest variety. Like I I got in a car accident uh, on Saturday morning, and it may go down. It may go down in Guinness Guinness uh, World Records history as the lowest speed car crash that has ever happened on this planet. Like there's gonna be an entry there that says. The longest, or the longest, the the slowest, the slowest speed car accident and just highest level of total buffoonery and stupidity goes to one Adam Foster from Salem, Oregon, as it happened at 11:15 on uh, on November freaking 20 whatever it was. And uh, oh, it's so awful. So here's the here's the scenario. So I'm I'm going I'm going to work. Oh, there you are. Don't think I didn't see you there. Yeah, I saw you. And your little your little butt buddy's right over here. I know he's there. You can't hide. Aha! Knew it. You thought. You thought wrong, my friend. And then and then uh, your little crony, freaking uh, Jeffrey Albumen Smith is over here. Yeah, go go eat a freaking squag, you know. Okay, so there's invulnerability, but we don't need it yet. Now, we're gonna need it for what's inside the yellow room, I promise you. <laughs> that room is just a full-on, like, Michael Myers legendary nightmare, is what that is comprised of. That room is where dreams go to die. That's, that's what that room is. And then there's our red key, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um... Okay, so here's here's what's going on. So I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to work on Saturday. I'm just uh, kind of trying to get there before I'm too late, and then I've got to I've got to hear it from the old from the old boskies. And so I uh, I'm driving. And I pull up to to this four-way intersection. It's like the biggest four-way intersection, arguably, in all of Salem. 
And uh, I pull up right behind this this car. A pretty nice car, actually. It was like a... Uh, I think it was like a... Uh, Maybe like a like a Chrysler three. It wasn't a Chrysler three hundred. I think it was like a maybe like a Lincoln Zephyr or something. Like one of those other kind of luxury cars that you know nobody really drives unless you're like eighty years old or Hispanic. <laughs> Which yeah, go figure. He was Hispanic. Uh, we need to be careful here. This is uh, this is a weird little room. And fire. Got him. His own weapon. Ah, another one. Uh huh. Thought you had me, did ya? Okay, there's a whole bunch of guys over here, though. They they will seemingly never stop coming for some reason. So I pull up I pull up behind him at this at this light, and uh, and I'm like I, I've got a pretty I've got a decent amount of distance, so it's not like you know I was just like really riding his ass or anything. Hey, you're right there. Okay, cushion miss. And so uh, I'm I'm there, and all of a sudden. Uh, my car just starts moving on its own. And I'm like, uh-oh, that can't be good. Okay, yeah, there's a reason why they gave us some vulnerability here. Uh, there's two ways to deal with these guys, and this way is so much smarter. <laughs> it, is, it is unbelievable how much better option this is. That's why whenever you see little little item rooms like that, you always want to shoot around to see if there's potentially like a little hidden room behind it. Because we actually... The other way is where that other Hulk is, and you are pretty much guaranteed a death if you try doing it that way. So, I'm just telling you. Um, so my car starts sliding, and I'm like, uh-oh, that can't be good. So I just, like, reaffirm the pressure on my brake, and I uh, push down a little bit harder. And then, oh, no! Where is he? <laughs> I couldn't see him. Oh, that wasn't good. That's okay. We've died a couple times now, but that, that it's we're actually doing better than I thought we were going to be doing, so I guess there's a Silver Linings playbook there. Um, okay, there's all of our stuff. We need to be careful about this, because I know he's still just kind of hanging around right here, and I really... Oh, there he is. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna grab everything and go straight back. And we took the damage anyways. <laughs> Oh, this is not working, my friend. This is... Jesus Christ! Oh, come on! God, get to him! Just kill him! Please die! <laughs> okay. Oh, Descent, my friends. It just never ceases to piss you off somehow. Um, but again, so my car starts sliding again. And so I'm like, I'm like, uh-oh, this is really bad. And so I like, I pretty much push my foot all the way down to the floor, like as far as it will go, to the point where I'm like slamming my foot through the, like through the plate <laughs> of the thing almost. And uh, and it stops again. And then it just starts. And then it just totally like the brakes totally failed. And I'm like, oh no! And I start, I just like totally went into panic mode. Like I, I totally could have pulled my e-brake. Or I totally could have pulled, um, like, uh, I could have just, like, even shifted into into park. I know that probably wouldn't be a smart move for, uh, for, like, my transmission or anything, but it would have stopped the damn car. And so I'm just sitting here like, no, 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 no! <laughs> it just, I just ran right into him, just straight on. I'm like, and then I just had, like, a total just mental meltdown. I was just like, ah, god damn it! Oh, no! No, oh, it's ruined this! Ah, oh, this sucks! Ah! Oh. Because I'm like, I got super pissed because I knew that, like, my, my insurance premium was just gonna just go insane. Because, you know, I finally got that taste of what having, you know, cheap insurance was like. Because I've, I've had a pretty tumultuous driving career with that. And I finally got the taste of it. And I, I just knew, like, ah, oh, damn it. You got in a wreck and you're gonna have to pay for all the damages. And you're gonna have to do this and that and the other. And it's just gonna suck. And no matter what, it's just gonna freaking blow, you know? And, and so, you know, I, I put the thing into park and I... I try to, you know, cool my jets down for just a second. And, uh, okay, we need to kill this other guy. Come on, there we go. Okay. Still not ideal, but we're in, we're in okay shape here. Um, and so, you know, I go and get out of the car and, and go talk to the guy, and, you know, I'm trying to be as, as generous as possible, because I want to try to, you know, be on his good side. I don't want to, I don't want to get on this dude's bad side at all. And so, I'm like, is everybody okay? Like, I, nobody, nobody's hurt, obviously, and He's like, no, no, every, every, everything's fine. And I was like, uh, well, let's look at the damage. And like, it didn't really do much of anything to me. Like, it, it bent my license plate uh, just a little bit. And on his car, it just like, 
pretty minimal damage, it looked like. I mean, it looked like nothing more than just, uh, like, taking some... Like, it just kind of scuffed the back and took some paint chips off, and that was really about it. And I broke, like, the little plastic covering thing for his, uh, for his license plate, but that was pretty much the extent of it. How do I get into there? That's a really good question. I would love it because there's totally shield in there and I need it. Um, it's gotta be down here. That, you would think. It's, it's gotta be the option. But maybe not. It's, dude, it's gotta be here. There's, there's gotta be a way to get into that. You would, you would think, right? I, I, I will not take no for an answer here. There's just, it's gotta be there. No? Wow, okay. It's, I guess it's not there. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's probably not even really that important that we look for it. I mean, I know that the extra 15 shield would be great right now, but I think that just getting out of this level alive is even more valuable than uh, something seemingly trivial like that. Oh, here we go. Maybe it was this. Bingo! Okay, oh, that's, I'll, I'll, I'll totally take it. Um, so, yeah, but here's where it got bad. Like, I had just numerous mental lapses, like, right after that moment happened. Like, I didn't, like, I, I, gave him, I gave him my information, but I didn't ask for his. I didn't take any pictures of the damage just in case they go home and try to, you know, do something crazy. Um, that I have, like, no proof of what I actually did. And so that's obviously not good. Um, oh, another shield. That's that's good. That's good. Uh, so yeah, I have like no proof of what I actually did to him, and, uh, and just like the fact I didn't get his information really just it pissed me off later on. But I mean, there's obviously nothing you can do about it at a certain point. Okay, I know that there's a couple of hulks up here if I remember right. I'm not gonna take any chances. There's one down, and I'm gonna take the other one down. Oh, I didn't kill him. No way. Maybe that'll help. Did I get him? Okay, I got him. Sweet. Um, yeah, dude, it was just really bad. It just... Um, and so I, I managed to get my car to work in the game because it wasn't very far away. And uh, uh, exit's right here, actually. I managed to, you know, uh, go get the thing to work, but I, I was like just totally freaking out. And so I called my insurance company and I filed the claim and all that. And, and so that was fine, I guess. But then I was gonna I was gonna call my mechanic to see you know how long it's gonna take before I can get in and obviously they're not gonna be open on the weekends and they're usually always busy on Mondays so now I gotta like revert back to what it's like to be freaking twelve years old again not being able to drive and have to have your parents drive you everywhere which I it gets better than the alternative of what <laughs> what it could have been like I'm really happy that nobody was hurt in this accident or you know anything because like my brakes could have failed at a totally worse place than a stoplight like it could have happened like while I'm going 50 miles an hour or something, I could have just cremated somebody and killed somebody or myself. So obviously I'm like really, you know, I'm overjoyed that the, the damage was minimal, but it's just like, God, I don't, you know, I uh, just, it sucks that it had to happen in any situation at all. Cause like I saw like signs leading up to it that it was, that it was starting to happen, but I didn't address it and I just kind of let it happen. So, uh it pisses me off. Okay, we got a new enemy coming in. We got a defense prototype with uh, four Argon cannons, medium medium to high threat, used for sentry and defense posts. This one can fire very rapidly without overheating, so he can just friggin' just let it fly. Not, not good. Okay, so we're going to MD-1032 Ganymede Orbit from PTMC Headquarters Earth Orbit. Next target, Europa Sulfur Mine MN-5545. Element of surprise may still be yours. And I hope that it is. Oh, goody. Oh, yes. So, uh, pretty much what's going on is, yeah, I, I'm, I got a call from my insurance, uh, you know, my claims adjuster today at like, at like 7 in the morning. And I was, like, not even really awake for it. And so he just kind of recapped everything. And I'm totally covered, which is nice. And uh, his damage is covered just as long, like, I won't have to file a claim with the DMV just as long as the damage doesn't eclipse $1,500, which I don't feel like there's any way that it could, but you know, knowing how these things work sometimes, that is a that is a realistic possibility, and that sucks. So, yeah, man, just uh, not not the tightest. Not the tightest thing in the world. So, yeah, what do you do? But with that said, my friends, we're going to save right here, so when we come back on the next installment, 
of uh, Let's Play Descent, we're going to uh, see if the element of surprise is indeed still ours, as they wanted us to believe that it was. So, eh, what do you do? So, uh, until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and uh, to be truthfully honest with you, I can't believe we got through that level as quickly as we did. <laughs> I was really expecting a lot worse out of that, but, uh, hey, did pretty good. So, I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.